Lesson three, digital inputs. So in this lesson, you will learn to push buttons, to use push buttons with digital inputs to turn the LED on and off. So the push button comes inside this packet here. That's it there. Let's uh, get it out. Got it open. Okay. So it comes with a few push buttons. It seems like about four of them, which is good. Okay, so switches are really simple components. Okay, so it just talks about what a switch is. You guys should know that. So connections, uh, schematic. So it looks like we are connecting to digital PWM output five, then into a 220 ohm resistor to an LED to ground. Okay, interesting. So we're grounding, huh? Okay, and then we've got two switches here we're using this is one switch two switches to digital input nine or output nine and then eight okay what are we trying to do here so we're back to using a red led okay we're using two switches so these are two switches so let's get another one out then all right so let me try to understand this schematic so or this uh, board overview. So we're grounding the LED here. So we just got a standard resistor LED. All right, so before then, we have two switches, two push buttons. So six and then to ground, and then also oh, nine, uh, output nine, then to ground, and then eight to ground. And then you've got five PWM into the resistor. Okay, I'm not sure what this is supposed to do here. So if we press this button here, it activates, it sends a signal to what? So what are we trying to do? I don't really know. Pressing the button will turn LED on. Pressing the other button will turn LED off. Okay, interesting. So we're going to have... Ah, I think I understand. So when this button is pressed, the Arduino will detect it and then make five go live hence turning the LED on. When this one's pressed, the Arduino will detect it and then make five go low, turning the LED off. So this one pressed, go on, go high. This one pressed, go low. Got it, I assume. Okay, so we've got the code there. So let's get the code. So we've got these inputs folder and then we can open this in Arduino. Here we go. All right, so I've just realized I, need, I haven't actually set up the board yet. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got our LEDs, so let's get rid of these. So, so the, you, the thing that I can see uh, lots of people making a mistake on here is when it comes to connecting uh, the LED, you want to make sure do it this way around. So you've got the, the shore end needs to be going to ground. And I know we could make this go live. We could make both these sides go live, but we're just going to make this bit ground. So let's put this resistor now. They had it sideways. I'll show you now, maybe it's a good opportunity to show you what I do normally with my, um, with my resistors. So I, I have like these cutters and then I just trim it like this. No, getting it into the pins is difficult. There you go. So now that resistor just sits flush. I've kind of got it going across there, which is a bit annoying. Let me fix that. So now I've got it sitting flush on the board. And you can do the same with the LED as well. I'll show you. Just want to make sure that you know which bit is which. So there you go. So I've shortened it. So I wouldn't normally do this to the LED. I usually like to keep my LEDs long, but I've just done this just for the sake of it, just to show you. So now you can see it's all very flush on the board. When you start to get lots of resistors and stuff on the board, it's easier to have it flush on the board than to have it all sticking up. All right, anyways, so let's move that stuff out of the way. Okay, so we've got our resistor. So now let's put our ground. So our ground is still the same. So we just want to connect it to the ground of the LED. Actually, I'm going to change the position of this um, ground. I'm going to put it to ground here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
put another ground wire from ground to the LED. There we go. Let's install these two push buttons. Just make sure you push them in enough. So we go here and here. Okay, and then we need to ground both of these. So the to ground and here to ground. So you see by color coding it, it does make it a lot more easier to read when you're just looking at your circuit. So I definitely I enjoy I like the idea of color coding everything. I've actually put it in, compared, in comparison to the schematic the wrong way, so I'm just moving them up. It, sh it won't make it won't actually make a difference since um, the buttons aren't polarized, but I just did it so it matches the schematic like that. So now let's get we got our red, yellow, and blue cables. So blue is going to nine and yellow is going to eight. So let's do that. Blue to nine, and then that's going to this. Uh, I've actually realised I was I was shocked to see that the LED lit up a bit there, and I was thinking to myself, why would it light up? But what I've done, I've made a mistake. So basically, I've connected, I've made it so, such that my button is connected to the resistor. So that's a problem, so I need to move the button up because I don't want the the button shouldn't have anything to do with this resistor. So uh, you can see that from the schematic here that the button is one to the right of the in parallel with the res uh, of the resistor. So let's um let me just move these up, let's move this button up. Put this one here instead. There, cool. And then we'll ground it. There we go. So now this time we'll put blue to this one. And the LED doesn't illuminate, which is good. Then yellow, we're going to put it in 8 over here. And then that's going to go to this button. It's hard, I'm trying to do it for the lens of my camera. Okay, that looks correct to me. And then, and so lastly, we got the, um, this is the live wire to, so this is going to be pin five. All right, and then that's going to go over to this resistor here. And voila, the LED turns on. Cool, okay. So let's um, now flash our program. So close that one. Come into this folder here, digital inputs. Oh, actually, I remember I opened it already, but that's fine, doesn't matter. And then load, and we should see our Arduino turn on, load the program. Did that work on a done uploading apparently? Okay, so pressing that, turn it on, and then turn it off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, off, so off, 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 on, 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 yeah, so it's fully working now, so you can see, so off, on, off, on, off, off, stays off, on, 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 stays on. And that's it. So now you can imagine you could label that on, label that off, and then so if you instead of having you know for example just an LED here, you could have a whole another circuit board here and just one wire that powers that whole circuit. So imagine my hand here is a circuit that sets that is an alarm. It's an alarm, right? Alarm system. So you have an alarm breadboard, an alarm circuit on a breadboard here. You got one cable coming out from this resistor to that circuit. And so if you want to turn on the alarm, you can just go on and now your alarm will be activated. If you come in your house, you can then go off. So this small, tiny little circuit here 
although it might seem stupid to just turn on an LED on and off, you know, might seem a bit dumb. You could use it for a lot more. So yeah, so for me, I'm very much, I'm looking forward to, I've got a lot, I've watched a lot of videos, their capabilities and what you can do with them. And so I'm really looking forward to take up, uh, when I'm doing these small tutorials, I'm extrapolating it forward to see what I could do with it. So yeah, let's just take a look at the rest of the PDF for this digital inputs lesson. Okay, so the first part of the sketch defines three variables for the three pins that are to be used. The LED pin is the output pin and button A pin will refer to the switch nearer to the top of the breadboard and button B pin to the other switch. Okay, so button A, button B. So you got A, B, A, B. Cool. The setup function defines the LED pin as being an output as normal, but now we have the two input pins to deal with. Okay, so LED pins output, and then, so these two pins, so pin eight and nine, on the Arduino become input pins. The pin mode of input pull up means that the pin is to be used as an input, but that if nothing else is connected to the input, it should be pulled up to high. In other words, the default value for the input is high unless it is pulled low. Interesting, okay. This is where we switch. the switches are connected to ground. When the switch is pressed, it connects the input pin to ground such that it's no longer high, okay. So let's just, let me just explain that in case you didn't get that. So here, this blue, this button here is being controlled by the blue cable, right? This blue cable is going to number, to pin nine. So pin nine is high. It's always high. When I press it, it goes to low. So when it goes to low, my code is saying when pin nine equals to zero, then turn on the LED. So pin eight is the same, it's always high. When I press it, it goes low. So it's, it went to zero momentarily, it's back up to high though, but it went to zero momentarily. So what we're saying is that when it goes to zero, then turn the LED off. So the pin mode of input pull up means that the pin is used as an input. Okay, um, so since the input is normally high and only goes low when the button is pressed, a little, the logic's upside down, we'll handle this in a loop function. So you've got a loop here with some if statements. If digital read button A is equal to low, then make the LED high. Got it. So it's currently high. When it goes low, then write, make this red cable here, make this go high. And then what we're saying here, button B, once it becomes low, means it's been pressed, then make this go low. So now it's button A, and button B are both currently high, right? So when I'm pressing now B again, I'm making it low and I'm making this one go low. But this was already low anyways. So this current state is low here. So there's no there's no current going into the LED. So when I press this one, it goes high again. Very simple logic, but very, 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 very good um, and very useful application. Okay, and then there's, so they've just got some if statement stuff. So for me, what I do is I save all this code here, you know, all of the code in these tutorials, I'm gonna save all of them. So when I start writing my own code, I don't have to start figuring out how the if statement needs to be written because I learned C programming and this is slightly different to C programming. If I'm not mistaken, it might be C++. But yeah, all right, so we're now moving on to, we've done digital inputs. So we're three lessons in so far, and you know what? I feel like thus far it's going very well. 